Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my backyard golf simulator and what I've done to build it. I'll break down all the material I've used, some cost for you, hopefully give you some ideas of what you can do in your own backyard. So here is my setup. I had to get creative because my yard is not flat anywhere. As you can see. So I picked the flattest area, which is the back corner, and had to bring in dirt, fill it out, and we got a pretty level surface. So as I go in, the first thing that I needed to do was make sure I had a level hitting surface. So for that I poured concrete. This is a 7 by 5 foot pad to make sure that I had a nice level surface. Works great with the hitting mat. In the cage here, can't get out too terribly far. This unit is 14 foot wide, 12 foot tall, and 10 foot deep. I wanted to be fully encapsulated so there were no errant shots that made its way out, but I also have friends that come over and play, and they would find a way to hit my house or our neighbor's house. My hitting mat is from Five Star Golf Mats. I also have a small strip of fairway mat. If I want to use that, I'll put that over on the right side and line it up with the Mevo unit. I am running a Mevo Plus unit that I have been very happy with. On a normal day, if it's just me, I will come out and use a small tripod with just a tablet. But if I do have friends over and we're actually playing rounds of golf, I will use the TV. I've got a 43 inch TV that mirrors right off of the iPad. I bought this heavy duty TV stand off of Amazon. Works great. I just run a power cord up to the house. Uh, makes it a lot more fun to be able to have a bigger image to see. The netting here is all in one. It's got a heavy duty net on the sides and top and an archery netting on the back. That archery netting is extremely heavy duty. I have no worries about a ball going through. I did, however, add an extra net that's just a hitting net and put it in front of the back net just to take the brunt of the impact so I didn't have to worry about replacing the whole net if it ever wears out. The whole cage is made out of EMT conduit. It's a one-inch EMT conduit. I purchased that at Lowe's. The connectors to put it all together were purchased online at a website that does tent and awning fixtures. And then I've got a large target strip that I also purchased and hung on that net, which makes a, a great piece for target alignments on there. Uh, the other thing I did, just to keep everything from being too wet, is I did put AstroTurf down in this area. I've AstroTurfed it's, it was three strips, but it gives me a 21 foot by 15 foot wide AstroTurf area. So. Looks nice in there. I've got it going right up to the concrete. So everything is laid out really nice. Helps, we had some rain earlier today. The AstroTurf stayed pretty dry, so there's no mud. Nice and easy to clean up there. Not much else to really say about the setup. Uh, inside of it, there's plenty of room. I don't feel like I'm restricted at all with swinging wide open. The top is fully encapsulated, no balls are going out anywhere. So it's been a very good unit. Uh, just got finished up here last week with the turf. So finally done with uh, the whole thing, I think, other than planting some extra grass where we've had to build up some dirt around the unit. Um, feel free to comment if you've got any questions and I will answer those. I'll also post links in the bottom and kind of help break down in this video what the, the total build cost and breakdown, where everything came from and the cost of individual items.